गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ क्ले लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कंसिस्टेंसी कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ ए क्ले इंडिकेट्स द रिलेटिव इज with which a soil can be deformed this is the simple definition of consistency the relative is with which a soil can be deformed is called consistency depending upon the water content there are four states of consistency four states of consistency are used normally it depends on the water content and due to this this is called consistency limits consistency limits what is this consistency limits to understand this consistency limits first of all take some soil sample and plot a graph between the water content between the water content and the volume of the soil and the volume of the soil to understand the consistency limit let us take some soil sample and plot the graph between water content and volume what will happen initially the volume of the soil is constant up to some water content or water limit and the soil will be in solid state when the water is added up to certain limit the soil will be semi solid after that soil will behave like plastic and when some more water is added it will be like liquid so we can see there are three boundary condition 1 2 3 this boundary condition is called liquid limit liquid to plastic liquid limit plastic to solid that is plastic limit and semi solid to solid is called shrinkage limit so let us understand what is the meaning of liquid limit this wl is called liquid limit or in short liquid limit sometimes it is also denoted as l dot l that is liquid limit liquid limit what is the meaning of liquid limit liquid limit is the water content at which a solid is particularly in liquid state but has infinitesimal resistance against flow which can be measured by any standard procedure that standard pr procedure that is used by casa grande and that is why it is called casa grande apparatus casa grande apparatus and plastic limit
WP or sometimes it is PL. Plastic limit is defined as this, this boundary condition. Plastic limit is defined as water content at which a soil would just begin to crumble when rolled into a thread of approximately 3 mm. What does it mean? Once the soil sample is taken and if we try to make a thread approximately of 3 mm size, it will start crumbling. That water content is called plastic limit. Another limit is shrinkage limit. Shrinkage limit is the maximum water content is the maximum water content at which decrease in moisture, decrease in water does not cause any decrease in the volume of the soils. You can see from the graph even the volume of water decreases but the volume of the solid remain same. Volume of the soil remain same. So shrinkage limit is the maximum water content at which a decrease in moisture content does not cause any decrease in the volume of the soil. So these are the different limits and it was first introduced by Atterberg A Swedish scientist in 1911. That is why these limits are also called Atterberg limits. These limits, like uh, liquid limit, can be determined in the laboratory, as I told you, by Cassegrande apparatus. There is a definite. Uh, uh, there is a method of of how to use Cassegrande apparatus and how to calculate the uh, liquid limit. We will discuss this determination of liquid limit by Cassegrande apparatus in different video. So here we have just understood the different limits or uh, Atterberg limits. One more important term that is called plasticity index. Plasticity index. In short, IP. It is nothing but the liquid limit minus plastic limit. So, plasticity index is nothing but the difference between liquid limit and plastic limit. It is one of the important parameters or you can say property of the soil plasticity index. Remember all soil possesses the same volume of shrinkage sharing strength at liquid limit and it is about 27 gram per centimeter square. This is just for your information. So liquid limit is uh, sorry plasticity index is equal to liquid limit minus plasticity plastic limit based on the range of the plasticity index soil is classified in different ways like suppose if the plasticity in the index of the soil is zero then it is called non plastic if the plasticity index is less than 7 then it, the soil is called low plastic soil. If the plasticity index is in between 7 to 17, this is called medium plastic. Medium plastic. And if it is more than 17, plasticity index is more than 17, then it is called highly plastic. So today we have just learned about the 
consistency of clay that is basically the Atterberg limits, liquid limit, plastic limit and shrinkage limit and how they are defined and based on the plasticity index how the soil is classified. So thank you, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Uh, usually I upload or I prepare this civil engineering lectures, different topics, small topics and full lectures also. So like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.